Hallo. Hallo, my name is Martin Dietz. I am a product manager for TNC Controls at Heidenheim. Mein my name is Michael Windel. I am a course trainer for NC Programming. Ein neuer a new job is being set up. The NC program is ready. All parts are ready, and the worker is just tightening the last screw of the sliding blocks of the clamping device with a torque wrench. What happens now? Simply clamp the workpiece in the vise and press start? Depending on the clamping situation, another work step may be necessary beforehand. We have noticed that this work step has become less and less popular over the years, the calibration and the setting of the preset. Have you ever wished that calibration could be made faster, easier and 100% reliable? The worker has to insert the touch probe and start up to six probing operations in order to determine all degrees of freedom. This can be time-consuming and requires much experience. What do you think? Would you be thrilled about a function that guides you through the entire probing process? Intuitive and interactive. The new graphically supported setup feature of the TNC7 is right on target. The TNC7 offers you the possibility of setting up your workpieces in a simple way with high precision and graphic support. The model-aided setup function is available for just this purpose. With this new function, you can determine the position and any misalignment of a workpiece and the fixture with only one touch probe function and then save the preset. You can tilt and probe on curved surfaces during the setup procedure in order to probe even complex workpieces, such as freeform parts. The TNC7 provides you with additional support by displaying the clamping situation and the possible probing points in the simulation workspace with the aid of a 3D model. This means you no longer need to know which probing points must be approached in which sequence. The TNC7 guides you interactively, step by step, through the entire probing process. This is precisely the function we now want to look at on the machine. As an example, Michael will use a workpiece from the aerospace industry. By using this part as an example, we will now show you how reworking or further machining can be done with model-aided setup. And this function takes us completely step-by-step step through the entire probing process for this complex part. Without model-aided setup, a lot of effort is required, both in terms of keystrokes and of brain power. Inclination angles need to be determined, presets have to be set and interpreted. This effort would take about an hour if we didn't have the help of model-aided setup. Here on the screen, you see the setup workpiece function. Michael selects the 3D model. In the preview image, you can see the workpiece blank. We use open to get to the next window. The 3D model is now centered on the machine table virtually. You see orange axis keys, and by using the plus and minus keys, Michael can generally place the workpiece on the machine table. The first task is now to virtually move the workpiece to the vise. As soon as the touch probe is near the workpiece, the TNC7 recognizes this and an arrow connects the touch probe and the workpiece. As long as the color of the arrow is red, Michael cannot yet start the probing process. Only when the arrow is displayed in green does the TNC7 recognize a sensible probing path, and Michael can then start the probing process. Pressing the NC start key is sufficient for this. In this case, the touch probe moves to the workpiece in Z minus, and then a green bar is displayed in the row on the screen. In addition, the virtual workpiece is updated on the control screen and now matches the real workpiece in the Z direction. Then a positioning next to the workpiece is performed and NC start is pressed again in order to start the next probing process. Now, Michael moves the probe in the plane in front of the workpiece and probes it again. On the screen, you can see that a good amount is already green. Therefore, Michael has to probe another point in the plane to determine the last degree of freedom. By pressing the NC start button, the probe moves to the workpiece again. 
Now the screen clearly shows that the entire traffic light status has turned green in all rows. And furthermore, a diagram shows that the selected measuring points lead to a low error estimation. With the Compensate the Active Preset button, the preset is saved and the workpiece is completely aligned. Thus, we can cover two everyday application cases. On the one hand, fast and guided probing of simple workpiece blanks. On the other hand, as we have just seen, it is also possible to measure complex parts that need to be reworked. Whether it's a casting or a part from the aerospace industry, everything works on the TNC-7 with the new model-aided setup function. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to contact our sales department.